Hello guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Emilio and today I'm going to show you how you can start animating with Autodesk Sketchbook. This is a free app from Autodesk, but uh, they, they ruin this app because now it's no longer available. But if you are one of the lucky ones that still have it in your computer, well, you can do this tutorial, you can follow it and learn how to animate with this app. And if you're one of the unlucky ones that didn't get the chance to try it, well, it was free and a really good app. Well, you can also try Krita. I have a lot of tutorials about Krita on how to animate, how to paint. And I think it is also a really, really good software that is also free. So check them out. And if you want to learn how to animate in a sketchbook, well, just uh, stay and follow this tutorial. Okay, let's go watch this video. So this is our canvas and this is where we can start painting and start creating our drawings and our animation. And to start an animation, we have to go to file. So we're going to click over here on file and then we're going to put new flipbook and then new empty flipbook. So this is pretty important and we are going to get this window and where it says presets, we're going to put our size of our canvas. We can also change it manually if we want a specific size. And we can also change the frame rate. In this case, I'm going to use 12 frames per second because I want to make a small animation and I just want to show you how it works. And in the number of frames, I'm going to put 24 because I don't want to make it super long or anything. But if you want to make a long animation, just put the amount of frames that you want. Okay, once we are done with that, we're going to get this timeline. This is our timeline where we are going to start putting our frames. And I'm going to start drawing a ball. I'm just going to make it a bit different. I'm going to put some arms and a happy face just to make it a bit nicer. And I'm going to move to the next frame. So if I click over here in add keyframe, I'm going to get a new blank keyframe. In this case, we don't see anything because it is a new blank keyframe. But if I want to put my onion skinning, I'm going to click in this square and look at that. Now I see the previous keyframe. So I can do that for the next frame too. And I'm going to click there. But in this case, I can't see anything because I don't have any drawing after my actual frame. So don't worry, it, it will show once you have another drawing. So I'm going to create a new ball for this frame. I'm going to make it a bit nicer because that wasn't super nice. And there you go. This is a bit better. And I'm going to create a happy face again. And I'm going to put the arms and I'm going to keep drawing and animating this, this animation. And I could keep going like this, but to be honest, it's going to take me a while to draw and redraw every time the ball. So another thing I can do is I can go here where we have these two plus signs and we're going to put duplicate frame and now we get the same drawing as before and I'm going to go to my selection tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle around my ball and now I'm going to go to my quick transform uh, tool and if you see I get this circle and I can do a lot of things with this I can rotate I can scale and I can move my drawings down so in this case I'm going to move it down and this is pretty nice. I'm going to scale it a little bit so I can start adding some uh, stretch. And remember, the squash and stretch are very important. And now I'm going to move and look at these guys. Now I have the three drawings. They are looking pretty good. And I'm going to continue doing this. I'm going to duplicate the frame and I'm going to move it down again. I'm going to stretch it a bit more. And I'm going to do this over and over. And now that we are happy, we can play the animation over here in our timeline. And it's looking pretty good, but we still have a long way to go. And I'm going to duplicate the frame where my uh, ball is going down because I'm going to copy and paste this one for when the ball is going up. So now I'm going to drag the keyframe. And as you can see, I just drag and drop the keyframe. And this way I can put them in the right order. So now uh, this is way faster for you to animate and to start moving keyframes around. Once I'm happy with this, I'm just going to select my drawing because I don't want it to be exactly the same as the 
the drop. So I'm just going to select it and with my moving tool, I'm just going to move it down a bit. As you can see, now it is different than my, uh, than the previous drawing. And I'm going to select also the first one and I'm going to trick it a bit more. I'm going to scale it down and I'm going to make it a bit slimmer and I'm going to move it down because I like to match the position with the uh, squash and the stretch when it goes down. So once that I have that, now I can start doing that with all my other uh, frames and this is going to be way easier to animate. So now I want to play my animation and to loop it, just click over here with this loop and now we can loop it. But if you see, I have way more frames than drawings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down uh, the amount of frames and I'm going to put it down to 10 because that's the amount of drawings that I have. And now I can play. And if you see now it's looking pretty nice. The ball is bouncing and it's looping so we can watch it bounce forever. But there's still some stuff that we need to do. I gotta clean the arms because they are pretty stiff and I want them to be a nice secondary animation in my bouncing ball. So I'm gonna make some fun drawings to uh, make it like overlap the bounce of the main body that is our ball. There you go. Now I have my ball bouncing with the arms. I think it looks pretty cool and I think it is time to put some color into this ball. So if you see on the right side, I have my foreground, midground and background layer and uh, you can choose any layer and it's going to be different uh, layer to draw. In this case, I'm going to use the midground to start coloring my ball and I'm going to use a yellow color. I want to be a yellow ball. And on the left side, you can change your brushes. So you can try different brushes and just choose the one that you like better. I try the pen and I try the other ones, but I'm going to end up using this brush because I think it is easier and it looks better in my, uh, in my animation. So I'm also going to add a shadow on the left side of my drawing. So it looks like it has a bit of volume and Voila, this is our animation guys. It looks, it looks pretty good. Now it's time to render our animation. So let's go to file and then we go to export flipbook. Once you're here, you can choose a PNG sequence, an animated GIF or whatever you want. Also an MP4 in case you want to do a video. In this case, I'm just going to do an animated, a PNG sequence. I'm also going to put include background, but in this case, it actually doesn't matter. And I'm going to export it from one to 10 because those are uh, the frames that I have in my animation. And I'm going to click export. And that's all you need, guys. Well, I hope you learned something and you like this video. And if you like it, give it a like, a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.